Hi, my name is Yeva. Welcome to my channel for another scrapbook process video. Today I'm using Pink Paisley 5th and Monaco collection and I recently did a haul video, I'll link it down below, and I show all these beautiful products that I recently purchased from scrapbook.com. And I kind of explain a little bit how I'm not naturally drawn to pinks and purples and black and white kind of color schemes. Definitely not the pink. I'm a boy mom and I'm, I'm kind of a tomboy growing up myself. And so I'm, yeah, I had, I'm, it's a challenge and I'm challenging myself to use this collection, but I do love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And we, this um, beginning of the year, with my mom and my sister and my niece. So we all went to Vegas. And so I'm gonna use this whole collection to scrapbook and document that trip that we took. It was a girl's trip, it was really fun. And so I started off with my four photos. This was our first day, we were super excited to be there. And then I went and found a sketch and I found that sketch up at the top from, um, I found it on Pinterest. It's by Julie Bonner. And I'm, I'm seeing pretty close to it, just trying to figure out my own measurements, things like that. Um, but yeah, I'm, pretty, I'm sticking pretty close to it. I decided I wanted to use this vellum, which is a gold polka dot, and but I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> I, I, I put it up there just to see how it looks. I definitely knew I wanted to use this um, pink I'll show you in a minute down at the bottom and I'm gonna use that spot for journaling again I'm kind of going off the sketch how it is there with the journaling at the bottom title and then two circles just to round everything off and I, I love adding circles to my pages especially when there's a lot of straight and harsh corners and so I decided that that vellum just wasn't fitting very well um that peony paper already has a polka dot and it just felt too transparent I guess so I decided to just add more pink. Why not? Kind of get my fear over pink. <laughs> so I'm deciding before I get too carried away with embellishments and all the good things, I'm going to commit. I'm not going to fuss with it. I'm liking it so far and I'm going to stick everything down. And yes, you saw correctly earlier, I was using a small plate to cut out my circles that um, you can kind of see there in the corner, an orange um, it's a Fiskars like template. I've had those for years, and I use the circle ones all the time. But I needed a, something a little bit, a little bigger, and so yes, I use a plate. You gotta use what you have, you guys. Why not? And so I'm arranging the photos uh, again, kind of like on the sketch, but I'm angling them slightly. Gives it kind of a playful feel, a little bit of fun, a little bit more movement again with the circles. And so I'm going to play around with the arrangement of the circles. I liked how that one, the top one, would kind of go over the edge and wrap around my photo, if you can see it there. But um, I think I cut it too too short. You know, it, it was not a full circle, so I couldn't really make it work. Um, but that's okay. And I decided, again, before I get carried away, I'd work on the title. And I decided to use these alphabet gold. I believe it's part of the collection and the titles here and now. And then I'm going to go through the ephemera and try to find a block or a square. Again, kind of going off that sketch for my title. Um, but I couldn't, I wasn't, I wasn't liking how that top circle was just going to be plain and empty. And yeah, maybe I'd add some embellishment, but it just felt empty. So I moved the title up there. I was trying to figure out where I would put my three, um, my three embellishments to make it a triangle to kind of connect all my things together so that's why I took out those cork brown circles just it's more of a visual thing for me to see where I'm going with this and I went through the whole ephemera I couldn't really find anything because again this page is already busy so many photos the bold prints and the colors and so I decided on these labels uh, you tear them apart so it really gives that authentic ed edge and um, texture to it I guess and then I um, a while back I had fussy cut a bunch of these flowers again from that same collection and I thought well why not <laughs> more is more and when you start with more you're just gonna keep going with more right 
And so I decided, yeah, to bring in these white, beautiful flowers. And then, you guys, I was really debating whether I should or should not bring more circle vellums. Um, but when I put them in, I was like, yes, 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 more circles, yes, please, I'm doing this. So if you know, if you watched my videos, I love vellum circles or rings, whatever you want to call them. And so I'm really happy with it here. I'm trying to figure out which green or pink should go where. I kind of played with that top one and I just decided to commit. <laughs> I'm going to stick with the green. It's it's fine. It worked out all in the end. Either one would have worked great. And so as I continue to you know, put everything together, glue everything down, I'm loving how it's going together, I realized that I don't even have my pink circles glued down. Oh my goodness, I'm getting way ahead of myself. I think I'm just loving this layout, how it's coming together. So there you go. You get carried away sometimes. Um, I'm thinking about making a quick tutorial for you guys on how I make my vellum circles. If anybody would be interested in to see that, let me know in the comments down below. I'm thinking about making a tutorial. If not, that's okay too. And um, yeah, so I'm really loving how I use this sketch. It looks very simple, just has the four photo circles and a strip of paper. But I love how I personalized it. I moved the title. I made these three big clusters of embellishment. Um, and just all the colors that come together. I think I think pink might be a favorite, you guys. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'm just really happy how I made this my own. And you guys can too by just moving a title or making bigger or smaller embellishments or different um, areas of embellishments too. And so I'm putting down my date. And I'm just putting down a few couple touches. It felt a little bit bare and empty to me, even though there's a lot going on. But sometimes more is more, right? That's how kind of what kind of works. And so I glued down these uh, on, um, foam stickers, these black and white butterflies from the sticker sheet. I'm really happy with that. And the last thing I'm going to do is um, put some word phrase. I'm going to make sure there's a little bit of gold in each one because the uh, title's gold. And then I'm going to sprinkle on some goldness. I'm going to see if I can scatter that around through all my pages that I'm going to be working on for this um, little trip that we did. Um, that pretty much wraps up this layout. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you guys can like and subscribe and check in it out uh, any of my other videos and hauls that I'll have linked down below. Thanks for watching.